I'll let you. I'll let you go cold open this time. I don't have anything. Do you want to do mine then? Hey everyone, welcome to Teared It Up. Not a cold open. That's the intro. Oh, sorry. And go. So I now is the time. Uh, so I was trying. So I was walking down the street one day, and boy, were my arms tired. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Paragoy Illusions. We are your hosts, Noah and Alex, and this is Tearing It Up. It's a show where we rank stuff. Noah, what are we ranking today? Cryptids. Are they real? Are they fake? Only you can decide. Yeah, how are we ranking this? What's the system? We're here? ranking these on the believability as well as how scary they are. Mm. Cryptids, a creature that is found in stories and that some people believe exist or say that they have seen. Chumbawamba? But that. <laughs> Give me the, the bag. The Chupacabra. Chupacabra. When I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of Animal Planet and they would do like full episodes about the Chupacabra and I'm fully convinced it's actually real. Isn't it eat? Goats, or whatever. Yeah, it, like eats livestock. Eats so it's livestock. probably just like a coyote, a wolf, or, or yeah, it's probably not real. But just but a like, naked wolf. It seems like that's what yeah. It is. It's this weird. Like the depictions are really weird. It's in got these Mexico. Weird spiky... Is it located in Mexico? It's like Mexico. There's South a America. lot of stuff for this one. So like, but it is pretty scary. I put it in A. I'm good with A. A. <laughs> the goat. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. This is an S. Because of just how okay, I don't Bigfoot think Bigfoot was like the first thing I ever heard of like a cryptid. Yeah, and I was convinced it was real. Sometimes I look driving like from some place for family vacation, I would look in the woods and be like oh, I saw a Bigfoot. I don't know how real it could be, because it's like we're talking about this giant species of ape. He's in GTA and he's in Red Dead. What? Throw him an ass. Yeah. Let's fucking do it. Let's say we discover. Big feet. You get like uh, a lady Bigfoot. Would you? If it sits on me, I'm gonna get. Cr die I'm gonna die. Built like shag carpeting. Voice like Shaq. I would. Hey baby. <laughs> Come on into the woods with me. Hey everybody, I'm Shaq. I opened a chicken restaurant. Hey everybody, I'm Shaq. We're gonna go to Papa John's now and barbecue chicken alert. Keep it. Barbecue keep it, chicken alert. Keep it down there, big barbecue boy. Barbecue chicken alert. Hey. Both of your guys' Shaq impressions are just Patrick. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Wendigo. Wendigo. Wendig <laughs> it's not Wendigo. It's Wendigo. Wendigo? A Wendigo is like, that's the dogs in Australia. What exactly is a Wendigo? Because isn't this just like a, a night walker or a, no, a skin crawler? No, or a fucking... skin walker. And no, it's not. No? The Wendigo is often said to be a malevolent spirit. Malevolent? Malevolent spirit? Malevolent. Mal 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 the Wendigo is often said to be a malevolent... <laughs> Sometimes depicted as a creature with human-like characteristics, which possesses human... Oh, possesses people. Oh, which possesses human beings. Okay. It is said to cause victims a feeling of insatiable hunger. So is it like a werewolf? But werewolves, like, have to, like, scratch you to turn them. But, like, this one, it seems like he just looks at you and goes, you're mine. B? That dog is going to keep barking, and I'm going to do harm to it. It's Henry. I don't fucking care. It's probably I'm giving it three more barks. That's one. <laughs> Two. Put it in like C. Sounds dumb as hell. Windigo. Windigo. I also like the pictures that Brian has picked for these. Yeah, these ones are better than the, the last Mongolian ones. Mongolian death worm. Here's the thing. I read about this and then I put it on the list and now I don't remember what it is. It looks like, I mean, if it's as big as this one, it probably reminds me of the sandworms from Dune. It's a creature alleged to exist in the Gobi Desert. Oh, so Africa. So Mongolian death worm just sounds like a big ass worm. That's yeah. kind of lame, I think. I mean, it doesn't affect anyone. It does that, sound if, you live in, if you live in the desert, you're fucked. But if you're not in the desert, you're kind of I feel fucked. like it does sound real enough, though. Yeah. Okay. Where do you like, want to put this up? Like C, probably. Bang. C monk. C monkey. I actually don't know what this is. <laughs> so these are just like sea people? This is like a queer? Uh, yeah, a Aquarius. No, that's the zodiac sign. Atlantis? Yes. So uh, this is stupid as shit? Yeah. F. F. The Geico Gecko Man. Liz Lizard Man? Lizard Man. No, what the fuck? What? So, oh, is this like the lizard people, like the conspiracy theory? Like Obama's a lizard? Oh. Is that what this is? Okay, this kind of goes up higher then, because this is really fucking funny how many people believe this. Yeah, but it's not believable. And it's not scary. If Obama came out and he's like, yeah, I'm a lizard. D? Yeah, I'll put that in D. D. The Loch Ness Monster! This is another classic one. For Scotland! This is like so legendary, but it's just like 
Like maybe it was real at one point. It's just not, no, it's just not believable. There's like a goddamn dinosaur in a pond. I mean, dinosaurs were fucking around. Dinosaurs were fucking around. Yeah, like the ocean's fucking massive too. Like a lot it's of it's not. It's not the ocean, well, it's I a mean, pond. Yeah, but like every, it's still a lot of our sea life is not discovered. So like the possibility of this being real is up there. Have you been to the bottom of the ocean? No one has. He's not in the ocean. Yeah, but he could have came from there. I believe that there's a monkey in the woods before I believe there's a dinosaur in a pond. Have you seen like whales and shit? They're not in ponds! Stop talking about the ocean! Why do I have to yell? Loch Ness Monster's an A. Yay! Woo! Aliens, this is us. This has to be, right? They're actually, like, aren't they real? This is, wasn't there like a thing that came out where like the government was like showed like, here's an alien. Yeah, that was all nonsense. I would put this an S for many of the movies that are made based on alien life, like Alien, Alien vs. Predator, uh, Prometheus, E.T., Paul. <laughs> you ever seen Paul? You guys remember Paul? And then Area 51 is also... What are they hiding there, man? <laughs> S. Oh boy, but every time Noah looks the camera, I get so nervous. Cause every time Noah looks the camera, it's, there's so much dumb behind so much confidence. Yeah, like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's next? Sorry, I gotta just, I feel like, I feel like I gotta give you the space to. Why? Hellhounds! I'm just, I'm fully turning this into the reference episode. Is this the Mr. Burns thing? Release the hounds. Oh. No, hellhounds. This is like the dogs. It's the from dogs like... from Call of Duty Zombies. This is kind of stupid. They're pretty cool though. I mean, they're, all, they're dogs on fire that like just fucking. Well, yeah, we can do that though. Henry! <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I put it in C. What else? What do we got in C? Nothing. Oh, wait, no. I put it in B then. I couldn't see. Because it's like a religious thing. Is it? Could we be super offensive and just do like cryptids? Jesus. <laughs> Mohammed. We can't show him. I was gonna say, Brian, if we if we were to do a religion episode and we did Mohammed, what would you put as the image? Uh, Dude, the flack we get from that. <laughs> oh yeah, I know you're worried about flack we're getting. Look to camera. <laughs> Speaking of racist, werewolves. <laughs> they're not believable. They're pretty cool though. Like I but mean, they're fucking yeah. The if idea you became a werewolf, enough. like sure, there's like a con of like every full moon you gotta transform. But like besides that, it's like like dude, like once a month, I'm just like up really late. It's like a, it's like a sleep. it's a male period. That's what it is. Once a month, you just change into a wow. werewolf, and you're wow. Yeah. A. Thank you. Here we go. The Yeti. Ah. So this is just snowy, snowy Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Yeah. I feel like this is less believable than Bigfoot because he'd be harder to he'd be easier to see. Would he? Yeah. It seems like he's always in like there's like woods, there's though. like woods to hide in. Yeah, but he's in, it's just it's a big white puff ball. You just fall in the snow or he's like in caves or whatever. But I feel like if it was believable, it's on Mount Everest where people die and he just picks up their bodies and then just walks away. Dog, you think this bad boy is on Mount Everest? I mean, it can live in any tundra. It's like a husky. Define tundra. Um, Arctic. Nope. Snowy. Kinda. Snowy cold. Sometimes. B? Yeah, why not? As in believable? <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> Loveland frog. What the fuck is this? A the Loveland turtle? frog. No, it's just a big ass frog. F. I think it's like a British thing. It's, oh, yeah, double F. Looking it up. Loveland frog. It's on yeah, the it's terms like, of sea monk. Yeah, it's kind of like a ninja turtle. Loveland frog there. Oh, it's from Ohio. Oh, fucking double Ohio. F. Ohio. Loveland frog in Ohio folklore. <laughs> The Loveland Frog, also known as the Loveland Frogman or Loveland Lizard, is a legendary humanoid frog described as standing roughly four feet tall, allegedly spotted, spotted, spot, spit, Loveland, Ohio. Um, Ohio, F. Trimmy Red's from Ohio. Rapper. <laughs> <laughs> F for Ohio. Man Bear Pig. I don't know if this is an actual cryptid, but I just think of South Park. And yeah, it's just, funny. It's like a, an allegory for climate change, but scary and believable. Yes. Mantis Man? Mantis Man. Here's what's fucked up. I don't remember any of these. I feel like we were like, hey, let's make the list of cryptids. And I looked up a bunch of them and put them on the list. And now it's however long later and I don't remember. Praying mantises these. are already like freaky as They're well. already kind of freaky. So if so you just got this a, is a big, real, tall, walking. Big one, yeah. A? A. Preston, how you doing over there? I've been, I've been swallowing a cough for like 10 minutes. Dude, you can cough whenever. We're just gonna <laughs> just cover your mouth next time, you fuckhead. Next time you cough, let me grab your balls. Well, you know 
Skinwalker. These things are freaky as fuck. Scary as fuck. Like every time I see like a video of some people like, oh look, it's a skinwalker. I'm like, bullshit. And then I watch the video and I actually like really get scared. They're like, when like I was there's just... no fucking way these are real. And then I like, and then I skip past it really fast. Yeah, it's like a, cause it's like, what is it? When I was in Air, nice. When I was in Arizona, <laughs> there's a story going on like in the town like where my friend lives, and they were talking about like, oh, there's this factory that like did all this testing and shit, and now like. No one, it's like been closed for years, but there's still high security clearance stuff. And I was like, okay, so what? Like, and they're saying like, there's testing and then like the mountains like buy it. You can't go at night cause you'll hear a woman yelling help. And it's not a woman, it's a skinwalker. These things are freaky. They're, they're freaky. They're freaky as fuck. Wham. The water clear, the water. What? The water clear. What? H2O, it's a show. Come on, where these girls turn to mermaids, they can't touch water, they turn to mermaids. It's a whole thing. I don't think they're real. If the if I'm correct on like the folklore and stuff, like yeah, like in these and like the Little Mermaid and stuff, they're sweet. They're actually demons. Like they will try to kill you. Like, yeah, they have like a, their song and, and then you. I think so. Isn't the lore they're like they're like hallucinating that and they would like crash into stuff because they were like hallucinating it's and they would crash because they were like distracted. Yeah. Also, isn't part of this too is that they were just like seals. <laughs> Yeah. Right? Like fish too. body, human like yeah. face. Haven't had pussy in months. Scurvy is going crazy on that yeah, shit. Yeah, ima imagine you've been out at sea for six months. You got scurvy. You haven't added anything but like cheese and rat meat. W would you, would you, would you fuck a seal? No. D. Mermaid D. Unicorns. That's a Fortnite skin. Dumb as shit. Unicorns suck and are stupid and are lame. You mean to tell me if you didn't have a, a horse that had a fucking like horn that can impale people, you wouldn't think it's cool? So you want to use a unicorn for harm? Yeah. You would use this they're, beautiful creature. They, they're, they eat, like, they're carnivores. I think you're making a lot of this stuff up. You're like, here's the thing about, and then you just no. make shit up. They also shoot unicorns, or unicorns, rainbows out of their butt. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. Yep. 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 Thanks. Next one. <clears throat> what? Mothman. I think he's fucking cool. He's not believable at all. You get a big lamp in your vine. B. Uh. Fine. Vampires. I mean, again, it's like the werewolf too. Like, oh, so they drink blood. What are they, Democrats? Take a lap. Take a lap to the polls and vote red this year. I think Nikki Haley said nothing wrong in her answer about what was the Civil War about. <laughs> they're, they're about state rights, man. I'm gonna distance myself from this one. States' rights. Yep. Northeast, South, or West, a state is a state. <laughs> the Jersey Devil. New Jersey sucks. Yeah. Is this going on the Ohio tier? Get it. Come on, you got it, attaboy. Thanks, Dad. Dragons! Here's the thing. I think the dragon, in terms of like it, the way it's become, you know, mythology is probably not real. But I, the lizard with wings, I think is very real. Skyrim. Spyro. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, I feel like a dragon, with, uh, a, a lizard with wings is very believable. B. I want Godzilla to be real so badly. Would. Just one day, just to see Godzilla just. Would. Godzilla see. God sissy, I said. Laugh. Ha ha ha. He gets it. Going in B. B? Yeah. That's A, dude. It's not an A. It breathes fire. You think that one breathes fire? Look at All it. All dragons breathe fire. Look at it. All dragons breathe fire? Wow, way to generalize, racist. They're not even real. Drag wow. Wow, you dragonist. Dragonist nuts across your face. Yeah, I knew it was coming. There it is. What's bracken, Kraken? What's crack a lacking? What's cracking? So it's just a big squid? It's a giant squid that will- that Giant eats, squids are real. But it has like a beak and it like eats people. I think it's, a giant squid would probably eat a person. Squids don't eat people. Given the opportunity. Maybe, but like this one, it sort like goes out of its way to kill people. And it's only, I only see it with pirate ships every time I see Kraken. Kraken C. C. For the sea, that's where they're from. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right, ghosts. 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 I believe in ghosts. You believe in ghosts? Yeah. I think it's one of the few things that are believable. And I think just with shit that I've seen, it seems like it's real. I don't know. I bet you were really bad when a test said explain your answer. Yeah, I was extremely. Extremely bad. Like, especially with math questions, explain your answer. Bitch, look at the question. Look at the problem. I solved it. How did I get just there? Because. Because literally, I'd be like, I did this because this is how I think Noah holds a pencil. <laughs> I'm putting an S. S? Dude, Ghost Adventures. I mean, that's the one thing like I firmly believe is real. I feel like it's similar enough to Aliens. It's like, yeah, believable enough. Wham bam. There's a lot of alien movies. A lot of ghost movies. Ufos. 
So that's just like related to aliens. Yeah. And here's weird. The idea of a UFO doesn't have to be related to aliens. Aren't they called something else now because they're politically correct? What? They're not called UFOs anymore. What's what's politically incorrect about unidentified flying objects? Wait, let me look up what they're called now because they're not called UFOs. They're called something else. They're called they them flying. <laughs> they <laughs> them they them objects. <laughs> oh, they're called UAPs. Unidentified air something. What is it? <laughs> it stands for unidentified anomalous phenomena. I like UFOs better. It's way yeah, like, UFOs way easier. Yeah, why do you gotta make it sound like I gotta have a fucking science degree to say it? I be, I would almost be tempted to say I believe in UFOs like traditionally than I do aliens traditionally. Would you? Rather I believe have, in the concept of like life in the universe. I don't believe in like Martians. Would you? you know what I mean? Would you rather have UFOs be real or aliens be real? I guess I'd rather have the technology. It's a little more tangible. Yeah. But I feel just, like it goes with aliens. It's I just think it'd be really cool right? to fly one. Meow. 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 Is that, is that what happened on 9-11? Yeah. They, yeah. Put, it, they put it in a Some dude just found it. Found a UFO. It's like, this looks sick. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> what if 9-11 what if was a genuine accident? <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. And then, and then 11 minutes, it was like that 13 minutes in between or whatever. It's just a completely different guy, unrelated. No, the fuck? Shit. The play in the field in Pennsylvania. Fuck. Just genuine accident. You know what I mean? Like you rolled a red light. Oops. It was never hijacked. It was just two pilots. And they were just like, I bet you won't. <laughs> anyway. S. S. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is our last one. I'm really glad it worked out this way. This one is actually a surprise for you, Noah. Brian and I cohorted on this one. How I Santa! <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Noah. Where does this belong? In the S. You know why. There's no room in S anymore. It starts with an S. We gotta move, we gotta rearrange here, man. This is such a disaster. And then I'm just gonna let this dangle because I know it's gonna bother Brian. So that's just gonna hang there like that. Santa goes in S. Santa goes in, how's this sound, right? Santa goes in S. Right in the middle. Ah! Because Santa is the realest thing on this list. <laughs> Thank you for watching, tearing it up with Noah and Alex. We hope to see you guys next episode where we tear up more things. Do you agree with our list? Do you disagree with our list? What did we miss? To the window. <laughs> and to what the should wall. we have added? See you guys next time. You stopped. I couldn't come up with any more songs. Those are the three songs I know. That's all your songs. That, the Christmas song, that circus song, and to the windows of the wall. Okay.